Welcome to part one of the gameplay walkthrough for Trail of Ayash, a new open world RPG game where you play as a tribal outlaw and explore an open world filled with conflict and war where you can ally or battle the tribes you meet in order to survive. The game is heavily inspired by indigenous people and their stories. You'll have to battle the stuff of nightmares, creatures born from the minds of men such as the jinn, wendigo or werewolves. You can summon forth animals animals and use herbalism and spells to aid you in battle. This is one of the most unique indie games I've played in a while and it's a very early build. The developers will actually be checking out the comments for any feedback that you guys have so make sure if you have any opinions or you're excited about the game leave your thoughts in the comment section and if you really like what you see please do give the video a like because it pushes it out to everyone using the YouTube algorithm. But before we start let's check out the trailer together because it looks epic. What is that? A werewolf attacking the wolves. Oh, Vikings are invading. Dude, this looks sick. Have a full scale battle at some point against the Nords. Fantastic. Getting battle lord vibes. I am beyond excited. Let's get started. Trail of Ayash, a burning tree with lots of cultists like tribesmen worshipping it. Seems like my kind of game. Let's begin. Blood and death were always part of life in these lands. But when the new foe emerged from the cold north, it would clash with the tribes in a war that would forever change life in this part of the world. The war took a toll on all tribesmen. Soon the food was scarce. The treachery ran rampant. Therefore, every criminal, no matter the offense, was exiled to die of starvation or at the hands of savages from the north. Till today, another outcast was exiled in the burned lands. He did not know what awaited him. It's Jesus, my lord Arno, fellow friend. Perhaps. Give me the death stare. Doesn't want me here. Hello there, friend. My name is Kilima. Listen to me. If you want to live a little longer, usually I wouldn't help a former convict, but desperate times call for desperate measures. These lands are lost. You can find nothing but death here. I hope you realize I'm putting a lot of trust in an exile such as you. Some of it's voice acted, some of it's not, it seems. Oh, time left to decide. Why did you help me? Yeah, why? Because without my help, you'd have died. And if you listen to me, you might come in handy. But you'd better not try anything. Firstly, you'll need to arm yourself. You see that corpse? Look for something useful. All right, take these potions with you. But remember, they won't save you if you don't arm yourself first. Look for a weapon. Very well. The beginning. Quest updated. What is our quest? Starving and wounded, branded as a former convict, I ended in the middle of war. I need to find allies if I am to survive a few more days longer. I'd be wise to start thinking about leaving the burning land, since there's hardly any food and the exiles, who mostly own nothing of value, can crack your skull open for a stone pickaxe. But damn, these burning lands, I mean, they look beautiful. I'm impressed so far. So we have ourselves a legendary tomahawk. We already started the game. We've already got our first legendary item. God oh, damn, look at that. Oh, yes. Put it back in our inventory for now. Oh, one sec. Return and talk to him. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Listen carefully now. Head north to the chief of my tribe. Tell him that I'm staying here looking for more men that would aid our tribe. I hope I will see you again. 
May the gods lead your way. I also have this fist weapon. Everyone has like this fist gauntlet made out of deer antlers or something. It looks pretty damn cool. All right, let's head out. The game looks really nice though. The search for items hold V. Ooh, okay. Oh, it's like Assassin's Creed. Oh my God, is that a bow? Primitive arrows. A stone knife. So we have two paths we can take. We'll go under the tree, obviously. I can crouch. Very nice. Let's quickly equip this bow. I really like the art style. It's very simple, but it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm already an awesome looking hunter. We're doing well. I'm going to move the camera over here so I'm not in the way of the mini map we have. To roll quickly, press shift and space. Ah, okay, you can roll. And I guess we can jump as well. Yes, we can. <laughs> Bit of levitation there from Skyrim. I like that. Oh, is this guy an enemy? I wonder if I can sneak towards him. Press R to take out your weapon. There we go. Torch. We yeet him from behind. Oh my god, I can actually assassinate him. Now he's down on the ground. Give me your hand. Yes. Okay, we've got energy and acorn bread take everything so it's really dark in this cave though put the torch oh okay wow hello there look at me lighting the way i guess i can drop down here it looks pretty safe oh okay you climb down fine that's that's right climb up here then you climb with a torch in your hand Just set fire to myself oh there's a mushroom here all right let's get out of here Oh my god, that guy looks like he's been covered by arrows. Absolutely pinned cushioned. You can use your Amish powers by pressing V. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness, I have a raven? Press space to thrust. Use thrust. Go a bit faster. And there's lots of targets in the background. There's a few different locations. I don't know what the symbols mean yet, though. But wow, this area is huge. A lot of dead people here. Clearly the Norsemen attacked, I guess. Let's hold down V here and scan the area, see if there's anything we can salvage. I'm pretty sure it's, like, not good to salvage corpses as um, a tribesman. Oh, look at this guy's mask. I like his mask. It's really cool. Got a long stone axe. Oh, my God. We have to, we have to use this now. All right, let me get my axe out. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I actually just fallen on a spear. I go take out this insect like creature in the distance. Not me. I can block as well. Ow. Okay, get Rex on. Wisdom of Kenneth. There's a few different ways to go. I'm just gonna go right, because that's not the way the game wants me to go, but hey. Who knows what we'll find here. It's another cave. Before I explore this cave, I'm going to go and check out what's over here. An absolute wasteland, really. Unknown Shelligate. Whatever that is. The game is honestly very pretty, though. One sec, there's some guys over here. They look like they're on my team. Just in case, though. I'm going to get my axe out, in case things get hairy. Hello, prisoner. You've had some luck surviving this long, but it ends now. Oh boy, he's covered in blood. He means business. Give me everything you have. You will get nothing. Take all of this and just leave me alone. No, mate, I found these weapons. I'll defend myself with them. You'll get nothing. I'll drink from your skull. Oh God, oh God, this is not good. Oh God, I can hear a bow. I can hear him drawing a bow, Jesus. That's not good. Okay, if I just stand here, chill. Bait, bait the attack, bait the attack. Finish him! Come on, he's dead. Oh god, I need to really watch out for this guy with the bow here. Oh god, oh god, he blocks me. Jesus, he's like Jackie Chan. This guy's not messing around with a spear. Oh, mate, come on. Oh god, he's... Oh! 
Oh, he wasn't. He wasn't kidding. He wasn't kidding around. <laughs> Jackie Chan just killed me. Damn. Oh my god. I just like slashed away at my back. Oh my god, I just looked at the map. Dude, this map is massive. What the hell? So this is where... Where am I? I think I'm around here somewhere, but I'm supposed to be here at the outpost. Guys, I've just found the skill menu. We have shamanism, dark damage, and loads of buffs for that. Fire damage, heal cost, and acid. Increased jumping, resilience, jogging, lizard. Increased strength, toughness, increased armor value. Herbalism, increased underwater breathing, reduce negative effects, increase toxicity level for drinking loads of potions, increase eyesight at nighttime, warism, increase light attack, heavy attacks, special attack, damage blocking, and bow damage. What's this? Animalism. I don't know what this is. This hasn't been added yet. We also have meditation as well, so we can wait for different times of the day. Statistics, we have all our weapon stats and what's adding up here, which is nice to see. Craft. Oh my god, I can craft all this armor. <gasps> Self-made arrows, wooden shield, self-made bow. Oh, I can craft a pipe. <laughs> Meat, water, acorn bread. All of these ingredients that I've been collecting, I can make so much stuff. Look at all this stuff I can make. In fact, I can make teriyaki style salmon. All right, so we failed to kill these guys and they seem to have despawned now when I reloaded. So I think we should head over to our objective. And there's actually a cave that looks like it's gonna take us to that objective over there. So here's the cave, let's head on inside. Whip a torch, yes. There we go. Creepy noise, hardly see anything. You want some more arrows though. A little bit foreboding. I have no idea what I'm going to find in here. Oh, what's that? I'm going to sneak. I automatically... What's that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Is that an actual skeleton? Why is there an undead skeleton here? Jesus. Get wrecked. Finish him. Undead skeleton. What the hell? A human skull. What is this place? Why is the skeleton chilling down here in a campfire? I've got to investigate this strange place there's just dead bodies here of people i can sit down if i like oh ancient jade okay that was worth it all right let's head out the other side of this cave and see what we can find looks like it leads back to the burnt forest still but clearly there's other parts on the map to explore okay a massive pyre of stuff burning over there can i get my bow out i want to try out the bow combat Oh, wait, the 69 damage. That's a lot of damage. You're dead. Have I run out of arrow? That was all my arrow. Right, I was going to take this last one out then. Oh, this is the tree from the loading screen. There's been a massive sacrifice. Satanic looking area, isn't it? I don't know if that's an enemy up ahead or not. Guess we'll find out, eh? Hello there. Stop. Are you one of ours? You are not one of those madmen that invaded our lands. I am one of ours. I am the enemy. I'm one of ours. Now I see you're an exile. You must be one of the Clermus men. Otherwise, we'd already place your head on a spike. We're trying to get the hell out of this godforsaken land, but if you want to go with us, you have to prove your worth. If you want my approval, you have to find one of my tribals that we sent looking out for driftwood. The quicker we can get all of our tribesmen and resources into the canoes, the better. I'll search for him. You have to deal with this yourself. No, I think we need their help. Good. I sent him west of our village, or of what's left of it. But it'd be wise to ask our village merchant before you head out. He was the last one that spoke to him before he left. Very well. But for now, follow me and speak with Inweld. He'll tell you what you need to do if you want to join us. Okay, let's follow along. So these are guards. This must be Inwend. Inawanid. The old chief. Is he still the chief? I like how he has like a shield on his front. You must be the outcast that Kilima sent to us. Most former convicts turned to banditry at the first possibility. So you want to leave the burned land for good, eh? Yes, I'd like to join you. Can't you stay here and rebuild? Now, let's join him. 
West Stubgate at the beginning. Prove to me that you're not another brigand and help my tribesmen leave this place. Only then will I take you in. But now we need you to gather our tribesmen and resources. Once that's done, we'll sail to the mainland and try and establish a camp there. If you want to join us, improve your opinion around the burned camp. Talk with Getana. Talk and Nak. I couldn't even read those names. They really need like a, a, a skip option in this game because they really do need to add a skip option in this game. So I can choose how much of the dialogue to read at my own pace not butcher the names. Alright, let's talk to the people of this camp. Ooh, we got a power ambulance of some kind. What does that do? There were ten rings of power. You're holding one of them. I actually am wearing it, which is nice. These are the guards. This is what's left of the village fortification, I guess. I can steal their supplies, which I will obviously do. Oh my god, they have dual axes? Oh, yes, we got to try these out. Oh my god. Dude, this is insane. Look at that. Oh my god, they've really actually thought about the weapons. I love it. I can't wait to use this. Drop a like on the video, by the way, guys, if you're enjoying it so far. I really want to see this game get some love because it just seems like quite a well done game already and they're asking for feedback so if you have any thoughts or comments like the developers will definitely be checking out this video so please take a moment to do that i heard that you're a former exile well do you want to trade have you seen the lost tribesman indeed he asked me for a shovel which was rather weird since he was supposed to gather driftwood on the beach Maybe just go burying. up the coast he should have gathered quite a lot of material for canoes also, one more thing, now that you mentioned him, he's been acting rather strange for a couple of days. Sus. Bring a good weapon, just in case. I've got a bad feeling about this. I hope he's alright. I don't think I should be trusted to go over there with a weapon. And the guard, do you have any information? Our chief told us that he'd been sending help. I didn't believe it at first. We are thin on men, but things must go badly if we started recruiting exiles. So do you want to help us with those savages? I'll deal with them. The wild tribe that attacked our lands left a small band of warriors that loot what is in the rest of our village. You look pretty weak. Even then, the wild men look wounded. They'll quickly kill you. So my friend Inas will help you. Sorry if I'm butchering these names, my friends. I am dyslexic. Oh, what's that? Are you coming with me to help me? Oh my god, you're like following me around. Wow, okay. Fantastic. Now let's head out from the village into the wilderness. Go ahead and kill these insect creatures. Oh, oh this one's a lot bigger. Oh god. Oh! Oh my god, it's just going ham on me. Kill it! Jesus, I'm almost dead, brah. Where were you? Oh my god, there's another- Ah! It's another enemy! Where's my friend gone? Goodness me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, sir. Oh yes, we're gone. No! Come back! Die! Yes! Is that guy an enemy or not? He looks pretty sus. Oh god, yeah, he's an enemy. He's- I think he spotted me. I'm gonna try and shoot him back then. Oh! Oh! Oh yeah! Get wrecked! How do I undraw my bow? Mate, I've got an arrow sticking out of my chest. Look at that. Alright, let's go and check out this path. Yeah, is there anything good in here? Oh, this is like the village. Oh, Jesus, I hear someone. Let's go. She's got a knife. She looks pretty threatening. Come on, then. Oh, God. That was a hefty blow. Getting rid of her stamina. Yeah, finisher. Coming out with my, me with a dagger. Didn't even know how to use it. Crazy person. You can see a warrior in the distance there looking pretty sus. Oh, 91 damage. Oh my god. She has like one health left. Get wrecked, son. Oh my god. This guy's got a two-handed warhammer. Don't worry. I've learned how to do special attacks now. Oh. Get Rex on. Oh, here he comes. Ah! Let's go. 
<laughs> oh my god. So if I hold down shift and click, I have this attack. Or if I hold down control, I've got a spinning attack. I can hold down this and I've got like an execution move. And each weapon has different attacks. It's pretty sick. Pretty damn cool. Mate, there's a lot of blood in here. Oh my god, this guy took a lot of spears to the chest, didn't he? Oh, I learned how to equip fire. So now if I... Oh my god, that's awesome. Summon animal? Oh. Oh, what? I can summon my own animals? Oh my god, I just summoned Moon Moon. Look at him. Here's someone. Oh, she, you can block spells. Attack, Moon Moon. Oh, yeah. Look at that, boy. I'm a wizard. Wait, did you just kill my dog? Oh my god, I'm gonna go John Wick. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I have no mana. I have no mana. Don't worry, we can just use normal weapons as well. Ah! Your Exum. Summon back Moon Moon. There he is. Look at him. Beautiful creature. So apparently this guy was collecting driftwood over here. And I was exploring the wrong area in the village. Oh well. It looks fine to me. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, God! I didn't know. Attack! Attack, brother! Or I will attack for you. Oh. oh my god, he's just letting me die! God, he doesn't care, look at him! Brother, why will you not help me, brother? Oh, oh look, he doesn't even care! Come on, attack him! Yes! Thanks for all the help there, bro. I'm really glad you came with me. A lot of talk, in my opinion. This is Imok. After closer inspection, he notices that the person has died of poisoning! That's not good, is it? Let's go and report back to the chief of what we found. I have indeed. I bring grave news. He has fallen. Those are terrible news. There's not many of us left. We cannot let his sacrifice to be in vain. Let's go and report back to the merchant. I could hear their screams from here. Great work. Thank you for your tremendous help. Here is your reward. And my guard portion. Great spirit would be satisfied if you could help out other members of our tribe. Very well. I will go and satisfy the great spirit. I'm really glad that you paid off your guard who literally stood there and watched me almost die. All right, let's go and talk to the other NPCs. If you want my approval, you'll have to help me with one thing. There was a cave where could we hid some valuables. I'm not a warrior. And to even counter any beasts, I will be done. Old shamans created a curse there, and everyone we sent there to retrieve it has perished. I think it would be wise for you to run if you encounter problems. You don't look that strong. All right, here we go, beyond the camp walls. All right, I'm back in the mysterious cave we entered earlier. Let's go ahead and get our torch out. Just down here, apparently. Oh! Jesus. It was oh my god, I did not expect that! Jesus Christ! Look at it, it's like a creepy goblin creature. Get Rex up. I have no idea where the rest of these enemies disappeared to, so we'll just say they're dead. <laughs> you were gone for some time. Have you found it? Here you go. After all this time, it's mine. Mine! Okay, let's go back and tell the elder that we have helped his people and now he must reward us with big gold. You did enough. We'll take you with us. Are you ready? Battle brother. I am always ready. Mainland. Oh, another cutscene. I've woken up in a river. Oh. That wasn't very nice. Oh. Come on, stand up. What happened? The tribesmen from Gabesh nearly finish you, but it's hardly their land, at least yet. So I stopped them even when it seemed obvious that you're a former convict. The rest of your companions who didn't seem like exiles were taken to Gabesh. You're probably wondering what Gabesh is, a town protected by the rivers. Chief of the tribe that lives there holds the most prominent influence in the mainland. But remember, you are an outcast. Guards won't let you there. So I propose that you help my village. Perhaps even join their ranks. Try talking with Gasky. I think you'll have more information related to what happened. Ca oh my god, damn, this game looks good. 
Wow, okay. That's beautiful. Look, there's even like a, a watchtower over there in the distance. Some massive rock formations here. We've basically ended up in the same situation we were in last time. Whoa, the map is even bigger. Look at all these, these locations. Wow. Okay, this is actually a big open world. My goodness. The world opens up a lot more after the tutorial, and this is staggering. This village is apparently just down the shoreline here. You're not going to attack me, are you, bro? At least they gave me my weapon still. That was very generous of them, I must say. This is a citizen. He looks like an absolute Neanderthal. What do we got here? A stranger that landed on our shores. Bugger off. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Mitwa. I've seen what happened with you. They're pretty unlucky that Gabash Caravan was here to buy some food. You see, I'm quite a lot of pain because the medicine man couldn't help me in any way. If that medicine failed, maybe the great spirit would listen. I was hoping you could bring me a fertility statue. So I asked one of the crafters from the hill camp, Beast of Us, to make it for me. But sadly, something must have stopped him. Can you look for him? We need to get you a fertility statue. Are you firing blanks, my friend? I'm liking this game so far. Like, the alpha is a bit rusty in places, but it's also good in other places. I've not got it on max graphics settings because the performance seems pretty horrible, but uh, I guess that will improve over time. I found the entrance to their humble abode. Stop right there, Crimble scum. No, don't worry, you're not in trouble. I saw how the tribes people from Gabesh treated you. Since we stopped them from beating you to death, you could do a few things for us. We are trying to protect our fishermen from waddies. We use the items to protect ourselves. And during one of the patrols, we saw a broken canoe and shiny necklace. But all of a sudden, the beast came out of the sea and disrupted our patrol. Beasts out of the sea? I need you to go and get that necklace. You do realize that the broken canoes were ours. Uh, I'll help you out. Great, I'll wait for you here. Very well. Wickwed's love. There's another guy up here. Quite a nice area. You can go up on the fort here. Look, there's some other people patrolling. I'm going to speak to the fishermen. You're one of the exiles that landed on our shores. Pretty lucky that one of our fishermen found you. I need some equipment. Well, at least you're honest. I didn't expect anyone to survive the onslaught that wild tribes brought. We're not giving out for free, but if you want to work for our village, I'll give you some weapon and some equipment. On top of that, if anyone else ever accuses you of being an exile, you can say that you work for me. So are you willing to help our tribe? Well, I uh, doubt there's a lot of work for convicts, so be it. I see you're catching up quickly with how things work around here. Gabesh wants us to sell them fish, but these damn beasts are troubling our fishermen. I need you to help to take on the beast-made lairs around the beach. An excellent place to start would be looking for a member of my tribe that I sent to deal with whatever's been troubling these people. I sent to north of our village, but they didn't return. Find out what happened. Can I climb up the watchtower here before we move on? Yes, I can. Awesome. Sometimes these ladders are just here for show, but... A pretty nice view we get from up here. Look at me, I'm a bloody tribesman. Apparently there's something in this giant tree. Maybe I can get in through here. Oh, okay. It's like a secret hollowed out log. Let's have a look. Jesus Christ, what was that? Oh God, oh God, there's a bloody goblin. Oh! A woody? What's that? Why has he got a massive boss health bar? Okay, Rex, son. Okay, well, that was pretty easy to kill. The caveman? Wait, he was a caveman. Like Gollum. Fisherman's ring. Popular amongst fishermen, apparently. Dude, they always jump scare me with these enemies behind me. So what's in the bottom of this anyway? It was just a trap, wasn't it? Oh, it was his nest. God, I wasn't ready for that. Oh, we can fast travel as well. Fantastic, that's pretty useful. Speak to the fisherman. Did you find him? I found his ring. 
I recognize the smell. I think it's woody. Woodies are not just wild animals, even when people think so. Their culture is almost as old as ours. You see, woodies are the one friendly towards all the tribes, but for no reason known to us, they turned on us and started attacking everyone. I need you to kill them all on the seaside. Later, I'll send some warriors to burn their nests so they need to recover. Bit savage, isn't it? Into the woodlands we go. Apparently, there's an abandoned village here. Or is this it next to this big broken down tree? Oh god, there it is. Uh oh, they're coming for me, boys. Oh god, they're a lot faster, man. Oh, special attack. We need to summon forth Moon Moon so he can help us on this adventure. Come, Moon Moon. I need your help. Attack, Moon Moon. Oh my god! My dog is a fearsome creature. 25 experience points, nice. Take it. I need to burn their nest now. We also stole their temple urn. I'm sure that'll piss them off. And they have a golden statue. They have a lot of, like, ancient relics. There was another quest up here to follow this blood trail. They might as well go and check it out while we're over here. Okay, it looks like a massive tomb shrine look. <laughs> oh my god, that is not good. Oh god. Oh god. That does damage. I can think I can probably kill it. Oh Jesus. Wait for my stamina to regen. Oh. He's almost dead. Oh my god, a Dijin hidden heart. Ancient rune. I expected it to be a lot harder, but it was only level one. I'm like level four almost. All right, I've spent the last hour trying to fix this bug I have currently that just stops me from attacking, and I do not know. I mean, my energy is 100, but I have no stamina bar, and no matter what I do, I cannot attack, I cannot sprint, I cannot do anything. I've tried to rebind the attack button. Nothing I do will make it playable. So if I start a new game, I can attack again. So I've been trying for an hour, and I'm going to have to give up. And it's such a pity because the game looks so beautiful. I've really enjoyed what I've played so far of this game. And I think it has a lot of potential as an open world sort of tribal experience. And I really want to carry on playing it, but I can't attack, so I can't play it. And it, it really annoys me. All I can say is that I have thoroughly enjoyed what I've played so far and the game has a lot of potential and I can see a lot of passion and love has gone into the game so far and that should be commended but currently yeah it's got a lot of work before it actually releases but damn this is this gives me like a little bit of that Skyrim feeling obviously it's an indie game they don't have the same budget but if you guys want to check out other new upcoming RPGs check out this video just here and drop a like on this one if you enjoyed it I'll see you there